Okay, so for this series of homeworks, what I'm interested in you doing is I'm not interested in necessarily the accuracy of the drawing. We're not copying that drawing. What we are doing is we're putting graphite on the back so that we can get the drawing onto the page because it's what you do with the colour when it's on the page that's important. So, once you've got your graphite and once you've drawn it out like this, you'll end up with something like that, which is the drawing here, okay? Which is obviously that. Now, for this exercise, for this homework, what I'm going to be asking you to do is to be using colour. Any half-dead monkey can get a piece of red like this and just put it on in a solid block. What I'm interested in you doing is developing the skills where you go from dark through to light. And that, as we did with the Matchbox project, is all about how much pressure you put on to the pencil like this. Now, some of you will want to take this even further. And some of you will might want to sort of start experimenting by taking the red and actually pushing, or any colour you like, into another colour. So, for example, this red here, I'm going to take this and this space here. As you can see, on behind, on the back of this, I've got the tree and I'm doing all the sky bits into red. Red, yellows, oranges, those kind of things. So I've taken that red there, I've blended it up there, and then I've got this colour here. And I'm pushing this yellow into the red and I'm making the colour much richer. So I'm blending it like this, from one colour to another colour. What I'm also doing is I'm thinking about the tree and I'm saying, right, well, I'm going to have this tree with an opposite colour to the red, so it really stands out. And as we know, the red is an opposite colour to the green. I'm going to be thinking about taking some blues into this. I'm going to be thinking about changing the greens. So I could use a darker tone of green, but I could also mix in a bit of blue with this as well, in with the green to make the colour a bit richer and a bit more solid. I'm going to want 40 minutes worth of colouring onto the work. You're not going to get it finished. Concentrate in the middle and start spreading out. You can do whatever colour schemes you like, as I've said in class. Thank you.